All right, you should be about ready to start here to get right back into the swing of things. So when I was turning my switch back on, like unlocking it, why is my camera off? When I was unlocking it there. Looks like I accidentally hit A like a sec, like an extra time. When I was, like I just tried to hit it like the one time for it to come off the lock screen. I didn't have the screen up yet, so I couldn't tell what was happening. And looks like I already started wow. this scene here. Uh, we're already, Vern, he already started seeing clouds then when we start, but of the eagle and anyway, I guess we have this part now. From on high, flocks of wyverns roar in chorus and soar the pristine skies, heading south for the winter. Fodlan's children lend their hands to winter preparations by gathering firewood and catching fish from the river's cool waters. Yet all the while, their gazes are turned skyward, drawn to the magnificent sight above. Back to you in the studio, Steve. Man, oh man, ever since I... Ever since I started thinking about that, like, weather reports, I can't help myself but make that stupid joke every time. It's probably so stale by now. Man, oh man, map! Whoa, there's things on the map. Press the X button to see where to find each character and facility. Yeah, you're just like, I actually didn't know that. You see 5,000 Gigers. Sweet. Oh, there's a paralog we can do. The battle of the eagle and lion is finally <gasps> upon us. Oh. This is our chance to show off the results of your expert training, Professor. Yeah, this is our chance to show that silly Black Eagles and Golden Deer House what it really means to play dodgeball. Um, Paddle of the Eagle and Lion. What kind of dodgeball is it? Ray and Seth have really not filled you in. <laughs> well, if that's the case, I'm happy to explain. What kind of dodgeball? When you're out, can you get back in? Is it the kind, is it the kind where you like, once you're out, you go out to the back lines of the other team's side? Or, I have no idea what kind of, I don't know what these varieties of dodgeball are called. The battle of the eagle and lion takes place every year during the wyvern moon. It can be best described as a mock battle between the three houses. Much like the one we had during the great tree moon. Do you remember, Professor? I remember our celebration, most of all. It was certainly an unforgettable time. I've never seen anyone put away as much victory food as you did that night, Professor. This battle will take place in Empire territory, at Grander Field. In other words, far removed from the monastery. It's a mock battle between the three <laughs> houses. The house that defeats the most opponents wins. I am back. And look at this, we got a big battle coming up between the three houses in the most intense game of dodgeball ever. Welcome back, Kraken. Highness, if the rumors are true... Ah. I believe Professor Manuela and Professor Hanneman will not be joining us. Ah, yes, <laughs> right you are. Given recent events, Professor Manuela has opted to sit this one out. Like, maybe I should leave them in this costume for now until this battle's over. Because, you know, dodgeball between the three houses. Since you know? she won't be present, Professor Hanneman has decided to skip this year as well. In that case, I must sit out too. Oh, don't worry about us. You know you want to see the kids in action. <laughs> Professor Manuela, are you feeling better already? Thanks to all of you, but I'd only be a burden out there. My students don't need to see me collapsed. Well, not on the battlefield anyway. <laughs> but in a bar, anytime. In that case, perhaps it is best that you sit this one out. Yeah, Ignatz became my new Hubert during my last playthrough after I lost Hubert. <laughs> Correct. We will not be participating. Regardless, do not expect victory to come easily. Or at all. Well put. We've spent the past few months pushing our students to their limits. You can see me in the infirmary after they destroy you. This doesn't seem fair. Oh my, look at you! If you're as confident as all that, my students will walk all over you. We have taught our students well. There is no need to hold back. Challenge them with everything you have. Time to die! We're gonna be going for all the headshots in dodgeball. All of them. We are not gonna play fair. We are totally gonna cheat this dodgeball. 1% of people battle, I guess because of the pair. Oh yeah, I have to battle! Because I did the exploration before. So I freaking... 
Everybody's motivation is maxed. Oh, except for Flane since we just got her. Okay, so now she's my new lowest level unit. So we are supposed to be about level 11 at this point. It seems like... Well... You know... Almost at the chapter battle for... For which part? Like, the Flane is the only one whose motivation can go up further. Since we just got her. Dang, I really should have saved exploration for this time. And then I do the DLC stuff now. For Edelgard's are Oh, like where it splits and stuff. I assume then. Also, there's a bunch of support conversations. Never mind, there's one support conversation. And then I think we'll battle then. Oh, my hey, camera. You know I'm used to hitting the hotkey like that to turn off my camera, but I just noticed it was still off there. Whoops. Chapter 16. Is that the end of that one then? Ah, oh, I've got it. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them. They're both so ready for dodgeball. See? Isn't it fun to learn? Absolutely. You're great at this. So a few you know. more left though. You really seem to have all the answers. I wish I could study and just soak up knowledge like you. How did you get so good at this? Intense dodgeball training. Well, studying was something of a necessity for me. What do you mean? My father was one of the king's knights. One day, he never returned home. He just left without ever saying a word to me or my mother. He went off on an unexpected journey. I'm so sorry to hear that. Losing a father so suddenly? I completely understand. After he left, I thought a lot about where he might have gone. My father was a devout believer, so I was certain he must have come here, to Garrig Mar. Oh yeah, because it's Gilbert. Here? Really? That's why I was determined to gain acceptance into the academy. I needed to come here so I could search for my father. So I wonder why he left. That will probably be answered in the future. Money to get in, lots of it, and I didn't have any at all. So I entered the school of sorcery and Ferdy at first, hoping I could somehow find a path here. I studied tirelessly until I finally earned myself a recommendation. Oh wow! So for you, studying has been like a way to meet your destiny. Destiny, huh? Well, yes, but it's a bit embarrassing when you put it like that. Now I have other reasons for wanting to keep trying hard. I want to protect all of my friends and allies here. I'm studying hard so I can be as useful as possible to everyone I hold dear. You've worked so hard. I really respect that. I'm going to follow your example. <laughs> That's a lot of support there, Kraken. <laughs> I might have done that myself though as well. I don't remember. Yeah, Flane needs some. Flane needs some serious experience now. So now we have the full 12 units, like 10 to take into battle and two to take as adjutants. So I have like my full party that I can actually be like giving experience to. So I don't think I'm gonna recruit anyone else for now, for at least a little while, because this is as many units as I can bring along into one battle at once, including adjutants. But you need to get more food though. Hope you find some good foods. I certainly did. Yeah, so there's no real point exploring right now. So what's the paralog that we can get here? Oh, there's two of them. Oh, so this is the one that I already did during the Black Eagles playthrough. And this one is new, the Forgotten. Sylvain is unable to stand idly by when he learns that the band of thieves once led by his brother, Miklan, are again causing trouble in Margrave Gautier's territory. Also, when it comes to Paralog, yeah, the one where he goes to the volcano for no reason. Yeah, that one. It's like, oh, we'll find him in a freaking volcano. Because that totally makes sense. I wonder, let's see here. Fire, Emblem, the three houses, Paralogs. Because I wonder, should I be recruiting anybody else early for the sake of doing Paralogs? Because there are some like this where it's like, you require certain two units like I guess you don't need to have Dorothy in your army for this I guess since she isn't part of my group, but I'm pretty sure there are some that you do like Caspar and Mercedes with the death knight after the second half for example But I wonder if there's any in the first half here that I want to do beforehand So yeah, they have the time limit of this month So let's see here Um, paralogs to prioritize. Oh, because of their rewards. So apparently this one is a good one because it can give you Killer Axe, Healing Staff, Prayer Ring, and Goddess Ring. Huh. Well then. 
It's one with Flayne and Sudeth. Yeah, I remember doing that. Yeah, it gave the good stuff there. Um, there's one with... Oh, there's one with Ash and Catherine together there. That gives Shoes of the Wind, Critical Ring, and Umbral Steel. Huh. Yeah, here's the Forgotten with Sylvain. Apparently, you can get Energy Drop, Short Spear, Goddess Ring, Advanced Seal, Speed Wing, Magic Staff, Extra Large Bully, and Longbow Talisman. Lance of... Don't I already have the Lance of Ruin? Um, There's one with Lorenz that gives Advanced Seal, Devil Sword, and Thyrsus. Is that like a special sword or something? There's one with Hilda and Cyril that gives a Hexlock Shield, Large Bully, and Freikugel. What's that? I wonder. It doesn't actually list like when these take place though. Like if they have to be in the first or second half. Okay, so here's the pre-time skip paralog list. Huh. So it's a golden deer relic, huh? I guess that's why it's with Hilda and Cyril then. Makes sense then. So yeah, the ones that are pre-time skip are the forgotten, this one, um, there's an ocean view with Flayne and Sedeth. I wonder, I it must be during certain months that you can do them. Or something like that. Yeah, I remember doing the Raphael and Ignatz one. So there's one with Ash and Catherine that could be good to do. So, I wonder if it's possible to do these in like the post time skip as well. Like if I can just save them for then. Because one of the ones that you can do pre time skip, Death Toll, the Raphael and Ignatz paralog. I remember doing that in the No, I did do that in the first half, never mind. I was about to say I remember doing that in the second half, but that's not right. That's not right there. Um so I guess these ones do have to be before the time skip happens. So I should potentially recruit some characters. Yeah, there's the true chivalry with Felix, with the Aegis shield, that's like so good. I already did War for the Weak. Um, I already did... I think I already did Tales of the Red Canyon, maybe? I don't remember. I don't think I did. Did I? I would have had a knowledge gem already, I swear. Have I done it yet already in this one? Do I have a random knowledge gem around here? No. I guess maybe that one's not available yet. But yeah, maybe I should recruit Catherine when I get the chance. So that we can get the paralog falling short of heaven, it's called. Hmm. Hmm, then. Anyway, today we'll battle and we'll do the two paralogs here. So let's do the new one first. Sylvain is unable to stand idly by when he learns that the band of thieves once led by his brother, Miklan, are again causing trouble. Trouble in Margrave Gautier's territory. I'd love to save, thank you for asking. Yeah, probably would have been best to explore today, but you know, too late now. I used an exploration last time for Hey Professor. You're for putting this stuff on. Ever. Are you working today? Um you gotta take a day sometime. Get out in the world and have some fun. I could never. Oh, come on, Professor. Let me buy you something to eat. Relax for a couple hours at least. Is that what still what Sylvain would say if you play as male by left? What are you after? What? I can't invite my professor to dinner without it being a scam? <laughs> uh, uh, okay, fine. You got me. I need to ask a favor. And I wanted a way to work up the courage to ask you. Nice cracking. <laughs> ask this. Is this about a girl? No. For once, it's not about a girl. There are thieves in my family's territory. I was wondering if you'd go with me to drive them off. You remember the thief leader you fought at Conan Tower, yeah? Um. <laughs> illusion of choice here. Your brother. Yes, Miklon. He was the oldest son of House Gautier. What's left of his band of thieves is causing trouble in Gautier territory. My father has asked me to come home and put down those murderous jerks. But he's asked for me to come alone. No knights, no backup of any sort. That's crazy, right? Why just you? 
because he thinks he'd lose face asking the church for help. I don't know. He could have asked another trusted house to send troops, but he only asked me. And the way my father is, he probably has some other motive that I'll never know. Maybe he just wants me to get some more experience in battle. A crazy way to suggest it, though. Anyway, I'm not going alone, no matter what he asks. I'm going to ask some of the others in our class to help, too. But none of us have your experience. If you'd come with us, I'd be grateful. I can't right now. You guys have fun. Of course. Great. I'll talk to the others and see who's in. Thanks, Professor. Let's go dodgeball these fools. This is what we'll do. I won't know what hit them. I swear, if this one's in a volcano, I'm gonna lose it. An epic dodgeball battle incoming. How funny would it be if there was like a dodgeball projectile? Oh! I should have freaking... Hold on. I need a reclass. I'm sorry. Dang it. Dang it, I forgot to reclass. I need to change like Liza Thea's class because she maxed out her current one. Aw, oh, dang it, man. Dang it. Whoops. Anyway, we'll go back right into that paralog battle. Oh, uh, boy, man. Hold on. I forgot to do this. Yeah, that's fine. 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 That's not fine. So two people left are Edelgard and Caspar. So you'll have them all soon. Okay, come on. Come on, please work just so that she can master another class. Please master another class. Oh, thank goodness you're able to change class. Just so that you can gain experience in something else, especially because you gain class experience Perfect so fast. My oh my, there we go, perfect. Now let's get in there. Now let's do it. Whoops, I'm so sorry. Thank you. You're welcome, Shamir. Whoops. Whoops. Hey, Are you working today? I'm pressing plus. Today? It's not skipping. Right? Hey. Can it not skip? Do uh, I actually have to mash A? There are you I can't you skip this apparently. Yes. What's my father? Can't skip these. Oh come on. And the maybe anyway. But. Well, let's Wait. go. Let's go, man. Okay, now Lysathea is a healer mage. So. <laughs> oh, and I need to equip fiendish blow on her because that's gonna make her even more busted. Makes you ready to drop a bowling ball on someone. Like a wonderful villager main. Okay, let's put fiendish blow on Lysathea here. Is what we need. Um... Like we don't really need that kind of thing. Fiendish blow, there we go. Magic plus six if you initiate combat. So whenever she's the one that attacks, she's gonna be freaking busted. Probably kill over 100 people with jury in some way. <laughs> Cause that's what happens when you play that character for a long time then. All right, so we have to bring one adjutant. So we should probably bring along Flane, our new healer there, give her some experience. I haven't explored it, so I haven't asked anybody for mission assistance. Um, when you play competitive villager, you just do stuff and it works. Ha! <laughs> nice. Um, your level's high, Ash. I could probably just bring you as, like, an adjutant then. But on who? But on Dimitri. You'll probably get the most experience with him. They'll probably send Dimitri right into the fray or something. Oh, yeah, I need a freaking marketplace. Welcome, Welcome blacksmith. Yeah, the manipulative moves like Lloyd Rocket. Such wacky stuff. I need to freaking repair these. Is that the one? Yes. Thanks a bunch. Yes, yes. Come back soon. Alrighty, time for map. He's a very unique character, and he's also, depending on how somebody plays him, can be very annoying to deal with. 
All right, so we probably want... Okay, we already have two healers over here. What do we have over here? One, two, three, four, technically. I swap one out. Nah. You're debating on streaming your next run of FE as a main project. Do what I'm planning on potentially doing. Stream freaking maddening classic mode where you're only allowed to train characters flaws. I'm going to do freaking new game plus maddening first to figure out how hard the difficulty is to figure out if that's something that's even possible. Flaw training only maddening classic because that sounds nutty. Sounds whack. Like, depending on how hard it is, I might do it, but I'm going to have to get, like, a little bit of a lay of the land first to see how hard it is. Um, where do... Let's put Cyril with the bigger group. Is what we'll do. Well, let's do that. I'll have leave the dedicated healer here since, you know, we've got three characters that can heal here. I guess Flane's also a sort of dedicated healer, too. Flane could get some experience that way. Oh, this guy can't move. This is a lot of dudes with item. Oh, 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 we're going after them. At first, I thought that was a chest. Wait, are there chests? Do I have to bring Ash along so that he can open any chests? I also love the pre-battle music so much. I don't see any chests. I think it's just killing those dudes. Good, good, good. Ash can stay as an adjutant for this battle. Let's fight. We have to rout the enemy. Okay, we've got the thieves covered on both sides. You can actually play final boss music in minor battles. Like, I know that you can play the music from other Fire Emblem games. Can you just choose like the final boss theme? Some of the thieves are still carrying what they stole, so we have a chance to get it back. Oh, neat then. Be careful though. They'll run off faster than a nobleman's daughter if we just rush in. Target the strongholds to cut off their escape routes. Hmm. So we have to go up. Oh, there's the four corners. So we have to stop the thieves from getting to each of those. Hmm. Hmm. Then also no more glasses anymore. <laughs> Stay focused. Let's see here. That is a lot of dudes. I'm on it. That is a very concerning amount of dudes right there. Let me tell you. Um. Fire. Fire him from life. <laughs> Did Fernand just say savage for you? My father is offering a reward for every thief and rogue we take out. The more you beat, the more you get. Hey. Just remember, you gotta take them down fast. They'll bolt as soon as they're hurt. Oh. Take the strongholds and we cut off their escape route. Okay. Defeat the thieves before they retreat. You can get rewards based on how many you defeat. So if you damage them and they're not defeated, then they'll run. Yeah, it probably is the funniest FE game, too. Like, I'm definitely enjoying it quite a bit, I must say. All right, Sylvain, you're going to have fun with that, then. That one is expected. Nice, nice. People are going to start reaching level 20, and I can make them this is what a real advanced game. classes soon. Pretty and Felix best subplot, the one where she, like, takes his weapon, or, like, yoinks his sword and stuff, and she has no idea how she did it. Okay, I need axe experience. Yeah. No oh yeah, I still have the freaking glasses on. <laughs> Each battle, a chance to my oh my. Okay, what meanwhile, over here. Leave it to me. Lazathea can just like. <sighs> well, let's do it. Whatever. She's a glass cannon. <laughs> that this works too. That works too. Or the one where Bernie just tries to avoid getting her bag back. That's the one with Felix there. Where he tries to give her back her bag and she like disarms his sword. Alright, the dude's gonna rush in here because he can do that. He, Ready when you are. he can't do it. Meanwhile, over here. Here goes. Hmm. Let us away. Okay, only the mage would go after Flane there. Sure. Bonk. Sweet man. 
Yeah, the axe dude would come after Dimitri there, but that's fine. Oh my goodness, Dimitri's busted. Sure, more experience. Bonk. Let's rush in there. Give Dimitri some sword experience. Never had a Since mercenary gives some extra skill points in that. Probably a good idea. Got his magic up. Whoa. I'll go. You gonna go after Felix here? Are you sure that's a good idea? Ready. Sure, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> that works for me. Nice. Nice, nice. Weak. Bonk. Okay, the dude's insane. No, not Mercedes. But now nobody else should be able to attack her unless they're mages, because that one dude's blocking them. Right? Oh my goodness, that was a good level up. If only defense went up too. Oh, never mind. That dude isn't blocking. <laughs> nice zero damage. My, oh my. And Crest of Flames, I immediately heal what I lost. Oh boy. Look how high my stats are getting. It's insane. Zero times four. So obvious. <laughs> wow, only one of them even connected. Sylvain's about to get B in reason magic. My oh my. Yes, go after Felix, you totally won't regret it. Man, Felix is a mage. Is actually really, really solid. Let me tell you. Player phase. Alright, here's a boss here. How about magics? Well, that sucks there. He's the only good moral savant. There's other characters who are good at moral savants, but he's definitely like the best at being a moral savant, though. Alright. Bonk. Give up. There we go. Another level up for the dude. The better to serve his highness. Oh yeah, I need to put better battalions on all my characters. I keep forgetting. Okay, you won't be able to counterattack Cyril. And wow, Cyril can kill. Wasn't expecting that. And he got B plus, I think, in axes. Or just B, I don't remember. Feel like I grew up a little. I only just barely saw it. Yeah, B. I can really do this. Chapter 16 time. Good luck. Well, I guess Liza Thea and Cyril are going here on their own. Some of my weakest units. That are going to wind up being some of my strongest later. Well, I may as well use this turn to take all them out, I guess. This is what I may as well do. Give Mercedes a little bit of Lance experience here and there. Maybe I'll make her a Holy Knight this time. Like, she works better as a Gremory, but... I've made her a Gremory before. So just for the sake of changing things up. <laughs> Bonk. Should I have held the back? toughest healing mage you'll ever see. My oh my. Quick fire. Be gone. And there we go. We got Sagittae. Sweet man. And meanwhile over here, what are we gonna do? And we could always have Ingrid pull back a bit. Yeah, we can try to take out these dudes here or something. These dudes can't move. And against somebody like Flane, that just has super high resistance, can I use them to exploit the thing? Two turn, or we're only on turn two. And typically they go up to 100. I do have a Discord. In fact, I think, yeah, the command for it is also in the stream title there. I do have a themer, Bobby. And I wonder, like, can I do like that exploit where I just get attacked over and over again? Like if I leave like one of these dudes alive or something like that. Like the dudes who can't move, like purposefully leave them standing. Could I do that? I must stay focused. Hmm. That's what I wonder. Um, 
Nah, let's not get damaged, I guess. I suppose. And then, yeah, let's heal here instead of... Instead of attacking. Felix can start making his way up there. Boopity bop. For me to ask about Discord or something else here. Quick heal. Felix is totally gonna max out his class this time. I'm not sticking around here to get slaughtered by a bunch of stuck-up jerks like you. So apparently the moment they take damage, they flee. So if I just don't damage him, can I just exploit this for experience over and over? So what are those smash streams that happen every now and then? You get confused when that has happened. The VGLS ones, it's kind of like my stream being on lease to there. To their group there like optimally i wouldn't even be around for those like in a kind of ideal situation so the idea is basically like they want to stream their events like their crew battles and stuff like that but nobody there streams themselves so they sometimes ask like other streamers to help and it's not actually very organized there like i've tried to bring some direction there but things are not very organized there like when i was first asked to help with streaming stuff there my impression that i got was like, I would be the main one that's streaming their stuff and I'd basically be like the kind of streamer for their group. But instead what it's wound up being is there's like three people who are like streamers in that air in that Discord server, me being one of them. And whenever an event happens, they're just like, there's an event happening. Is there anybody who can stream this? Like it's not, it's not very organized at all. And typically when somebody else is streaming it they don't actually have a like i have the layout that i designed for them for example like there's this whole layout that i threw together for them because i was oh dang it the alerts are going off that <laughs> from previously oh where's the freaking turn it off sorry about that um because i set up some different alerts for them like <laughs> anyway i set up this layout for them because i was under the impression that this would be like the official kind of stream for them but that wound up not being the case. So out of like all the people that they go to, this is like the only stream where they have this layout. Everyone, like anytime they stream through anyone else's channel, it's just like a generic game full screen layout with like the streamer there basically needing to babysit the stream and like put the score directly over like the player's icons and stuff like that on the bottom of the screen. And like the screen will start dimming and stuff like that because I guess the streamers didn't realize that like there has to be inputs constantly on the controllers or else the, sc or else the screen dims. Like I put a rubber band around my controller and optimally I can leave. I have so many things set up so it's like self-sustainable without me being around. Like I made an alternate Discord account that connects to a voice channel there and then all the audio through that goes to this stream when I'm streaming their stuff. So I have it like all organized and set up for them. And I, like, I don't want to be that guy who's like, man, everyone else sucks at doing this. But from what I've seen from, like, the other streams there, it seems very unorganized. And it feels very much like I might be the only one out of that streamer group who's actually taking it to, like, this level of a serious tone. Where I, like, designed this whole layout for them. Like, that fire in the bottom right there, that's, like, their crew symbol. Like, in the top right, you can see the kind of official version of it on that hat there. That bottom right one is one that I actually drew myself for them. Like, I even made it a freaking BTTV emote. Like, I looked at their crew symbol and I drew my own version. And I, like, added some shading and stuff like that to show that, like, hey, there's this, I guess. But... <laughs> Yeah, it is a bit of a pain, and it's also kind of hard to hear back from them sometimes. Like, sometimes it takes a little while for responses. It seems like things might be getting more organized now, but... When I was designing this layout, being under the impression that, like, this would be the kind of streaming channel for them, I designed this layout in mind for that, where it'd be, like, something kind of official for them. The only thing that I was told, like, after I asked, like, because I asked for a whole bunch of things about this layout, like, do you want it to be full screen game or, like, a smaller game and things around the side? And I was told smaller game and things around the side. So then I was like, okay, if the game is smaller and there's things around the side, that means there has to be things that go around the side. What do you want to go around the side? 
and I didn't get any response about that. So all this stuff that's around the side right now, like that chat box at the bottom and the stuff on the side there is all stuff that I came up with because the only input I had for designing a layout was just do the variety where the game is smaller and things go around the side. But even with a bunch of suggestions of like, okay, here's a list of things that can go around the side. What do you want around the side? I didn't get anything. I didn't get anything back. So, you know, it's kind of not the most responsive group to work with ever. You know. <laughs> so it's kind... So basically everything going on here has been stuff that's been set up by me. When the original impression that I had going into this and helping out with this, where it's just like, okay, they're just going to be using my equipment and my channel and it's going to be like their streams. So like I set up all this stuff for them where it's like, that bottom, that area at the bottom middle of the screen between VGLS Discord and between like the orange chat box, that area is actually editable in a Google Doc. Like I have it as a browser source in a Google Doc. So literally anybody without being me sitting at my setup here doesn't have to have access to OBS. Anyone with access to this Google Doc can write anything they want in that space, whether it be like a score for an event that they're doing, or maybe they want to like advertise an event that they're doing, whatever. There's like three lines worth of space on this Google Doc that my stream here reads and puts right into that space. Like there's nothing there right now. I moved it off since there was nothing going on, but it's something that anybody would be able to edit. As well, there's a specific like stream chat voice channel that I had them make in their Discord server where like my streaming computer will just like connect to that and just sit there muted. So anybody who comes into that channel, which I made sure that they put restrictions on that so that not any Joe Schmo could just come in, so only like members and stuff like that can hop in. And so anybody who comes in there can manage commentary. So I literally set up like all these tools for them for them to do the stream themselves. For them to basically use my setup, but basically run a stream themselves. But it kind of wound up not being that way, and it kind of wound up being I would still have to be at the setup and basically watching over stuff happening. Like, there weren't. There wasn't really that much in terms of people like being willing to step up to the plate and manage stuff like i like i remember when i first set this up i put like a list of things where it's like okay this is what i need i need some moderators that can handle chat and like respond to people there because like it wouldn't be my stream it'd be your guys's stream and there's nothing worse than somebody new coming into the stream saying hi and getting completely ignored so i need people like on chat and moderating chat there's gonna need to be commentators of some sort someone's gonna have to be on that scoreboard with the google doc like there's gonna have to be people for these things but instead, it's wound up being all me, basically. Um, but, but though, one thing that we have been talking about a little bit lately is the potential where now that I'm in university and I have like a schedule around that, I'm debating about making an actual streaming schedule. And one idea that I proposed to them is what if on my channel here, they did weekly open arena streams in Smash Ultimate where I was basically mentioning this idea to them saying like, hey, it could be a major win-win. Like for you guys, it's additional live time with like this layout here with like a stream that's branded around you guys and is an open arena kind of thing. Like it attracts new faces to your crew and Discord so you can get like new members and stuff like that. As well as like people would know when to actually show up for these streams unlike their current events where it's just like, one's happening on this day, one's happening on this day, like it's random, like it would be a weekly thing so people would know when to show up for like a weekly event of like open arena streams so people could show up to that. And meanwhile on my side, it would be additional live time for my channel as well as a way to legitimize myself. Like a lot of streamers will oftentimes look for ways to legitimize themselves and a lot of small streamers will make the mistake of looking for that through like sponsors that give them like almost nothing in exchange for having their brand name on a bazillion smaller streamer streams giving the giving the streamer basically nothing but making them feel like they're more legitimized by being like hey i'm partnered with this group or something like that even when they get like almost nothing out of it but anyway if this was something that went on as like a regular scheduled thing it would be like an actual way for me to potentially legitimize myself as well because right now if somebody asked about me i'd just be like oh i'm a variety streamer Whereas, if this was an event that went on, I would be like, Oh, I'm a variety streamer and I'm also the official streamer for the VGLS competitive Smash crew. Stuff like that. Like, it's more to have, un like, under that. In terms of, you know, legitimizing oneself. So, like, it'd be a major win-win for both sides. And so I was asking the crew about that and they were like, Yeah, we'd definitely be interested in something like that. So, that might be something that happens. But if it is, if that does happen, 
Oh yeah, I'll switch back to my regular layout here. If that is something that we do get sorted out there, there are gonna have to, it is gonna have to be set up to be self-sufficient without me being there. Yeah, don't worry, I didn't forget about it. <laughs> but, but yeah, so I basically mentioned to them like, okay, if this happened, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be able to be around to babysit it. You need to have like somebody on commentary. You'd have to, I'd have to like mod people for people to moderate chat and people would have to basically take over the duties that a streamer typically would since it'd be your guys' stream. Is basically what I said there. Should I just like, no, they'll probably flee then, right? But yeah, so that might be a thing that goes on like weekly on either like Monday, Tuesday, or Thursdays, one of those three days, maybe. Who can attack that spot there? The archer, maybe? Oh, he can, wonky. You wanna bait him out, Cyril? But yeah, so I might be getting more involved with this crew. It seems like they're starting to get, like to understand the situation when it comes to streaming a bit more, slowly but surely. And then the way it originally started where I got like no feedback like ever about this stuff. So it seems like things are getting better from what I can tell. Um, sure. Bonk. You weren't ready. But yeah, so. So, you know, that's kind of that whole situation. Um, sure. So yeah, it's kind of a complicated thing. Yeah, uh, one of the mods of this stream and a good friend around here, Haunt, was originally the one who had asked if I could help out with streaming stuff there. So I had said yeah because I figured like, hey, this could be a major win-win, you know, for both sides. So I kind of started getting involved there. So it's like I'm kind of a part of things going on with that crew, but I'm not like actually an official member. Because I don't think I'd be I don't think I have the time to be able to commit to something like that So it's like I'm sort of a part of happenings with that crew, but I'm not actually a real member But if this does Like start going on if there is like weekly streams on this channel of anybody being able to come in and join this open arena Where I might not even be around Then maybe I could start calling myself the official streamer of that smash crew. I don't know. I the input that I have so far is just, like, that sounds like a cool idea, we'd like to do that. And I basically told them, like, these are the times that I can make work. Like, take some time to discuss it amongst yourselves. So, one of these days, at some point, I'll, like, check in about that again. See, like, hey, anything, catch your interest here. I feel like I won't be able to farm off of this guy, so maybe I should just take him out here. Um, Mercedes is the lowest level, so... Let's do that, I guess. So, the 4% crit. But yeah, so things have kind of been all over the place when it comes to that. But. You could do it. Okay, that'll do it. This exit route is blocked off. Oh, so it actually blocks off that spot. Now let's keep cool and take out the other strongholds. Oh, neat. Cool, man. So if. Oh, these guys have movement now. They can actually move now. So do I actually have to take out these strongholds now? Can I not just farm this forever? Hello, Garvia. How go happenings? Okay, we're gonna send Felix and Ingrid up north here, the unstoppable duo who totally get along. Free experience. And we're gonna try to take out this dude here. If these dudes in the middle start retreating, then I'm gonna need to block them off there. Good, we won a crew battle just now. Nice, congrats. Good job, man. Aw, oh, dang it. I can't go there without getting attacked. Pfft. Let's do this. Congrats, man. You did the thing. You did it real good. Boopity bop. Now you made it just in time for the mess that is me playing this weird game. So are these dudes going to start running now that the dude's like right in their face? I wonder. Luck wasn't with you. Maybe, maybe. Um, let's boopity bop. Sure. I'll take the training gauntlets, I guess. Sure, you can go after Sylvain. Sylvain doesn't care. 
and this group will go down this way, but maybe not take out that mage until we're sure that we have to. You know? Okay, Annette can sit here and, like, equip the lance. Get hit by that mage to get some free... Some free class experience. Oh, I guess she can never support with flame. <laughs> Ow! Thanks for the two free class experience. Oh, you freaking debuffs me. Oh, they do run! Oh, no! I only have two units over there. But we'll be able to capture that stronghold. You remember this map? It was the first time you lost a unit. The very first time. But thank goodness for Divine Pulse. Bonk, bonk. Just give up. I'm viciously overpowered. It's insane. All right. Freaking Cyril and Lizathea tactical unit over here is going to need to move in and take out this guy. Kind of like that. Just like that. Yeah, I'll get him real good. Yeah, I sent in the tactical nuke. Got him real good. Look how quickly we've There's already long way to go. had Lizathea level up. Or Lizathea there. That's one more stronghold taken and one more escape route blocked. But yeah, There's hope things are going left. swell in general, Carvia. Which should we go for first? I don't know. So many choices. Okay, so it looks like these guys aren't hostile. They don't actually attack unless you attack them. Oh, I could get them both with Disturbance if it connects. Let's do this. Oh, come on, man. Oh, I could almost, like, pincer them here. We could always do this. And now they can't move. Let's begin. Time for a rain of arrows straight to your face. <laughs> Time to die. Because I would like to milk this for experience as much as I can. Oh my goodness, they're going up that way. Oh, Dimitri can make it to this guy. Thank goodness for that. Dimitri, the broken mercenary. My oh my. Got an advanced seal. Sweet! Hmm, what to do about this whole situation there? All right, this works. There we go. I did what I had to. Now, Felix, you can't quite make it over there. Unfortunate, though. But I guess we'll start going towards capturing that stronghold there. Flane can sit here and stuff and get. Oh, dang it! You can't move now. Flane can sit here then and do that. Yeah to do nothing and get free experience and Annette can now move oh the, the, never mind it didn't do nothing it cured the no movement thing all right time to go in this way I guess yeah sure we'll just do that Mercedes can get all the way this way heal Sylvain and then go this way. Two. Thanks for the free experience. Thanks, man. Okay, so those dudes are going for the south one. So if I take them and leave this commander here alive, I wonder if I can just... just farm there for experience infinitely. Now, can Annette take out this guy? No? Well, we'll do this, I guess. What kind of... Oh, wait, you have the freaking fire barrel thing, Dimitri. Time, is now. Time for a big fire barrel straight to your face. Kaboom! Over already. Sweet, man. Oh, boy. I will get stronger yet. You definitely will, Dimitri. Now that guy can't move. Got the short spear. Sweet. Sure, experience for Sylvain. Why, thank you. Go crazy, man. Who can you assist here? Oh, Dimitri. Sure, free experience. Heal him for that one health. Sounds good to me. Um, dang, I can't make it to that glowy tile yet. I don't care. It's so the shield. Well <laughs> Whatever. Well, I mean, 
We'll try it again. We'll try it again here. There we go, got him. My oh my. Man, if only these dudes attacked on their own, we could freaking pincer them in here and just farm them. But they don't. What do you need more experience than to do? Oh, you're close to being axes, but you need it more in gauntlets. Let's just finish off axes, I guess. Give up. This is what we'll do. We got the magic staff. A staff that guides the use of magic and raises MT for magical attacks. Lysathea is gonna go nuts. My oh my. Meanwhile, up here, my smaller group. Um, we can Thor on this guy. Or we can just block off this exit completely. Maybe. We can Thor on in his face. Sure. Let's not do it in his face. Let's do it from over here. Time for big spins. Kaboom. There we go. Yeah, Felix should totally master mage this time. And then it'll get fiendish blow, which is going to be great. Another escape route blocked. We're nearly done. So the bottom right one is the only one left. But can I exploit the last one, I wonder? Yeah, you can go after Ingrid, that's fine. Who haven't I moved? Flane, I can't move you. Man, I should maybe I shouldn't have put Flane in the face of danger here. Maybe it should have been someone else who can actually move out. Nice zero damage. Free experience for Flane. Yeah, now they have to go to the south there. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Ow! Rude. Well, I mean, okay, Cyril actually needs to experience more, so <laughs> let's finish this guy with him. Also, I hate how they tell you the best strategy of every map, like capture all the strongholds here. Increase his strength by two. Okay, maybe I'll use that on my character. Make them even more busted. Make it easier to recruit some other students there. Yeah, as opposed to figuring it out yourself there. Makes sense. Um, I'll get the glowy space. Leather shield for free. Okay, you're like halfway there, Mercedes. Is this guy gonna wanna, no, he's still gonna wanna go after Flame. That's fine. That's fine. Ah, oh, well. Level 18 for Mercedes. My characters are becoming so broken. That was a bad level up. But my characters are typically becoming so broken. Let's put on the Iron Lance 1. I don't think I can move Flane out of here anymore, can I? Oh, I could always use Drawback to force her out of there. I'll probably do that. Sure, let's do this. Cresta Fral Darius. Ow! There we go. Another win. Yeah, two more encounters and Felix will be done. Sweet man. Okay, let's give Ingrid some more experience here. Ow! Oh, the iron sword broke. At first I was like, didn't she have another attack? Probably did. But her thing broke. Is that all? My oh my. Well, I mean, have fun, Annette. You want some Lance experience? Pfft, fine. There you go. <laughs> neat, neat, man. Oh yeah, I don't have freaking physic yet. I'll just leave her there then. Whatever. I'm sorry to say it, oh. but yeah, I'm his brother. And he's led you into a bad spot. Hey, I know that face. You're the boss's little bro, right? Thank goodness for that. Anyway, your boss is dead. So this is your chance to disband this little thief gang of yours. Quiet. You think I have any other choice but to be a thief? Well, it's probably on me for making such a stupid request. Oh. So I didn't think that there was going to be unique dialogue there. I didn't think so. Oh, he's doubling! Forgive me. Player phase. I'll cut through. 
Let's just do this straight away. Who's next? In that case, because whoops. Ready. Whoopsie doopsie. And then we can do this to finish off that iron sword. Over already? All right, sorry, broke. We got our goddess ring. Send it to the convoy. Let us away. And we chill here, here and goes. such. Get a quick heal here. We can spend two turns healing if we do the standard heal. Some more experience like that. Yeah, we saw this before. Oh, he got a four percent crit. Only for six damage though, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Nice, Felix. Yeah, Felix just needs one more counter of some sort. Leave it to me. And then he's Dunzo. Ready when you are. With the Mage class. What should I do? He can actually use the arms here. Onager cannot be used by mounted or magic units. Hmm. I'll go. Hmm. Then. Well, let's get my whole. Group around here, I guess. Time for Stop lots of you. healing experience. Here we go. Time for lots of that. Yeah. You're a big help. Neat, neat. And we can just use restore over and over for free experience there. Oh yeah, we have a battalion already on flame, since that's just the way that she comes. So there's only the one dude left, so I might be able to Stay farm focused. him for. Her experience. I'm on it. Yeah, Sylvain can just stay here. Let's not use group flames. Yeah, you want to give Sylvain some experience here. He wouldn't mind it. He wouldn't mind it one bit. Okay, maybe I should put... I'll put some units with high res right in there. So maybe Eliza Thea should be one of them as well, especially because she gets double the class experience. Could be a thing there. I owe you one. Quick rally, I don't know. Okay, I can just Okay, never mind. I can't always use restore. Looks like you can only use it when there is something to restore. Twould seem twould seem. Yeah, we could totally exploit this. Absolutely. We're doing it. We're doing it now, Mr. Krabs. We're getting free class experience. Felix still can't quite make it over to heal yet, but we'll heal him. Yeah. Thanks. Neat. <laughs> I'm starting to get it. Okay, Annette is coming pretty close to mastering that class too. <laughs> Thanks. Neat, neat. Still nothing to restore, though. Still nothing there. Yeah, we. Look at this. We can totally exploit the thing. All right, now Mercedes can move out of the way, and Felix can go ahead and get his class mastered. Which I'll give him fiendish blow. Bada bing, bada boom. Fiendish blow. Maybe this will. Maybe this will do. Sweet man. I've cracked the code to class maxing. And it's great. Yeah, let's have Sylvain master Dark Mage there. Like this. Okay, no point healing with Felix anymore. Let's put Felix over here so that we know that he's done. His class here is maxed. Who is a healer who's close to maxing their class? Okay, Annette probably. Yeah. Annette, you work on healing next. Yeah, I owe you one. Is what you can do. Sounds like a great plan to me. We are gonna get so much class experience here. Man, oh man. And this is also gonna make such good footage for my how to like max classes as fast as possible video that I'm working on. Let's go ahead and heal. Wait, was there someone else to heal there? For a second, I thought there was. There isn't. Yeah, nothing to restore at the moment. Enemu phase. Didn't even damage him that time. That time you did. This is also gonna cost me a little bit of gold, but with the battalions that I'm losing like this. 
So yeah, there is the 100 turn limit, so unfortunately you can't just spam this forever. But you can spam it for quite a while. Look at that free level up by my exploits. Nice. Everyone will be so pleased. Nice, nice, man. Okay, Sylvain has got to be coming close now. He's got to be. Oh, Annette is the other one who can be healed. Sure, I'll get a heal. I'm so grateful. Oh wait, but she only just now got the level up. So it's only just now that she could be healed though. Okay, she needs two more. Two more. Wait, he ran out of magic. Wait, at first I was like, where'd the danger area go? Oh man, he ran out of magic. Oh, come on. Oh man. I was so confused. I was like, well, where'd the danger area go? He literally can't fight back now. Okay, who's weak here? Okay, the exploit continues. <laughs> the exploit continues. We're doing zero damage to him now. He did the same thing for a map in your run. Oh, he can use disturbance. He did the same thing where you just sat there and then <laughs> he ran out of ways to attack. Look at this. Free experience for Flayne at least. Neat. Alright, you just need like the one more encounter there. Annette. Does he have another battalion use, I wonder? Well, there's at least one more. Please land. Dang it. He's probably out of battalion uses now, isn't he? Here we go. Free experience for Flayne because she does no damage. What about... Oh, sweet! Sweet! We can't work on Liza Thea after all. Okay, what about Annette here? She just needs the one more encounter. Okay, she'll do the two damage. Poke. Oh, she needs two more encounters. Alright, who else would be weak? Because they're mages. Okay. Mercedes. You get in there. You get in there, I believe. Okay, this is this is what we're doing now, okay? Look at this! Free two class experience! <laughs> the exploit continues! Oh man, there was a map where an enemy kept spawning in spots so you had one you're gonna keep killing them and eventually they would only get one EXP point. Ah, uh, but I'm not looking for regular ex EXP points. I'm looking for class experience at the bottom left there. 74 left. Because when you master classes, that's when you get the class skills. Liza Thea gains four each time. Okay, Annette's only doing a teeny bit of damage anyway. So I feel like... There we go, look at that! Mastered skill for mage, easy. Now she has fiendish blow, so she gets plus six magic when she's the one who initiates combat. Look, easy. <laughs> also, he's on a healing tile, so he can... So he restores HP each turn, so I can probably actually have somebody else on the bottom tile there to replace a net if they can't hit hard. Like, maybe Cyril? Can Cyril hit without hitting hard? Like, Annette's done now. What's Cyril looking like? 12? Yeah, the dude would probably restore that each time. I feel like 11, even better than I guess. But, yeah, let's try this. I wonder if he'll restore that each time. Look at that, free level up for Cyril. He got his magic up there. And look at this. Bonk! Free four class experience for Liza Thea because she gains it double the rate everyone else does. Free battalion level up. Nice, man. That's how it's done. Don't mind me. Okay, using rusted weapons might be the solution here. Can I change music here? I can't here. Man, oh man. This is the plan. Yeah, he is restoring that each turn. This is how it's done. Oh, I can also gain some experience with my character here. Like, if I move my unit here, I can gain some affinity with Flane. Look at this, free class maxing. 
Because I'm making everybody like weird classes that they'd normally not be a lot of the time. Like Ingrid and Demetria's mercenaries, for example. Like I'm just trying to max classes here. Yeah, GG easy. Oh my goodness, I totally have to include this in my class maxing guide. Because this, this is the way you're- Wow, it looks like Mercedes actually connected an attack there. Look at this, he's restoring HP each time too. And he can't even fight back now. So wow, this is actually turning out better than when he had magic and could attack me. Because now I'm able to get four people gaining class experience each turn. This is insane. His battalion is literally running out of endurance here. We're fighting him so much. Oh boy. C plus and Lance for free. Aha! Like we might not gain level experience anymore, but we're not going after your level experience. We're already high enough level anyway. Look at this. I swear if Cyril gets like a random crit along the way, I'm not gonna be happy. Okay, we literally just changed Lizathea to a different class right before this battle. And she already is probably gonna max at this battle. Oh my goodness gracious. My oh my. Do you have any chance of critting, Cyril? You have 4% chance to crit. Same there. What if I gave you like a weird weapon that you wouldn't normally use? What if... Hey, Cyril, would you like some... Like, just to make sure that we can continue this. You want some training gauntlets? You want to punch him? Oh, dang it, that's even better. Because I'm worried about, like, a random crit happening. That's my biggest worry. You know? What would he suck at? Like, maybe a sword or something? Maybe a training sword? You want to try it, man. If you attack with the training sword. You still have a 4% crit, but you're only doing 7 damage, so it's fine. Like, you won't be gaining any experience in the weapons that I actually want to train you in. But that also means no risk. And you're moving towards maxing Brigand, which is very nice. Because Brigand gives Death Blow, which is plus 6 attack, or plus 6 strength, when you're the one who initiates the attack. So it's very nice. Free class experience for everyone. My oh my. Here we go. I totally have to include this in my class maxing fast guide. Is what I'ma have to do. Because this is insane. Here we go. Lysithia is totally gonna max her class this battle. Because the class ma classes being maxed will carry over down the same new game plus chain. So I'm getting these classes done now so these characters will never have to do them in the future. Like this is permanent progress here. Like they won't be able to just switch to these classes. Like I'll still have to train them in their weapons and stuff like that. Though their weapon experience will go over. But we can get the skills for maxing these classes. Here we go. Bit by bit, we're gaining experience here. Yeah, Eliza Thea is totally gonna make it. This is literally our first battle with Flane and she's already halfway to maxing her class. This is insane. Okay, maybe I won't attack with Cyril this time. He might have actually gotten a crit or something. Because that dude lost a lot of health. So it's a good thing I switched to the training sword there. Because if he had critted with like his axe, that dude probably would have been dead. And then this exploit would be over. We'd be donezo. It'd be coitons. Coitons for us. Okay, what are this guy's stats like? Um... He has somewhat low defense and a bit higher res. So I wonder if, say, my unit attacked with magic, if it would be possible to do very little to no damage. I feel stronger. For the same reason. I wonder. 
I wonder, I wonder. All right, this time we can do this. Or, wait, did you already? Oh, no, you didn't actually do it. I'm on it. You didn't actually max your class and you're so close to it too. That helps. You literally need one more. You literally need one more encounter, Sylvain. Whoops. I forgot to actually do actions that time. Wait. Yeah, Sylvain restored one HP to Cyril. Let us away. Yeah, let's do the other actions here. Here we go. So if somebody else Where levels up are? and gains an HP, Sylvain can get a last little bit of class experience that way. I'm on it. But once we actually do try to kill this guy for sure, Sylvain can just get a hidden and have his class maxed. Looks like Mercedes is also almost done. Leave it to me. So is Lazathea. They're both about to be done. Nice. Perfect comprehension. I literally made Lazathea a priest bef right before this battle began, and she's already mastered it. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh boy, oh boy, this is so wacky. And now Mercedes is also about to master her class with this rusty axe. And now she has Fiendish Blow. Great. Boy, oh boy. A warp gave you the win? Nice. I wonder, can I do this? Yeah, Felix is kind of busted, isn't he? Can I do this? Like, just remember to trade it back to him later. Like, if Dimitri attacks with the Rusty Axe... Yeah, that looks... He has a 2% chance of critting, though. Is a thing. But it's not very high. But yeah, anyways, you must go to bed. Good night. Alright, thanks for stopping by and hanging out, Kraken. I appreciate it as always. Have a good night. Alright, just in case. Just in case Dimitri gets a random 2% crit along the way. Let's master Sylvain's class right now. We got poison strike. Perfect. Sweet. Okay, Liza. Liza Thea is done now too. So many characters are done. Cyril here. Wait, can I just give him like a rusted weapon, like I have been using for the others there? So convoy. Yeah, there's a rusted sword. Wait, but he usually uses axes. Do I have a rusted axe? I do, so what if I take that and then I trade Cyril that? What if he attacks with the rusted axe? Now that's what I like to see. Yeah, we're not even gaining any experience points anymore there. But it doesn't matter. Ready. So maybe I should use like a rusted sword with Ingrid here. Oh, but she also has the broken sword currently equipped. That could work too. Like, attack with the broken iron sword. Yes! Wow, it actually connected. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect, man. Yeah, Cyril's about to be done. So yeah, it looks like equipping rusted weapons is a good strategy. This is good stuff to keep in mind for my upcoming guide on how to master classes as fast as possible in this game. Also, I'll put Mercedes off to the side, too, to signify that she's done. I have mastered so many classes this battle. This is insane. This is absolutely nutty. Like, Cyril is about to be done. Two more encounters. Yeah, I'm doing it. He got his authority up, too. So, yeah, Sylvain is done, too. What should I do? My oh my. So this whole group over here has now mastered their classes and now needs a class change so that they can learn something else. And this group over here are people who have not yet mastered their classes. But are now very insanely swiftly working towards it. Oh, we got a skill level up too. It's all coming together. <laughs> We've been fighting this guy so much. 
that his battalion literally withdrew. Okay, I have to be careful here so that he doesn't actually die. He was losing a decent bit of health there. All right, let's get Cyril done. Just like that. So now he's mastered Brigand and he got death blow. No problem. Awesome. So now we trade with Cyril and he probably doesn't want a training sword, does he? So now I'll equip the rusted axe and I'll use that to try to master my own class here. Yeah, so this is like almost no chance of hitting there. You're not doing any damage at all, Flane. Which is just what I like to see. Oh, Dimitri must have gotten a hit in. Because he does quite a bit of damage. Yeah, I can't attack with Dimitri right now. I'm not going to risk it. So yeah, Cyril is now done too. So you can go join the group. <laughs> oh boy. We've mastered six people's classes so far. And we're working towards more. Okay, where's the rusted axe? There we go. I do have a 9% or 19% crit chance though. That's a little bit concerning. Maybe there's like a broken weapon somewhere that I can equip? I don't know. Because I don't want to, you know, risk things too much here. Don't want to get too risky. Hello, Pikachu. <laughs> I'm glad you kept the stream rules in mind there. <laughs> the stream rules that pop up before you can type anything in chat. Glad you kept them in mind. All right, let's see here in the convoy. Wait, what weapon do I suck the most at? Bows. Is there a rusted bow that I can use? Or something like that. Convoy. Oh, the rusted bow. What if I take that, replace it with a rusted axe, and we attack with the rusted bow? I do still have a 19% crit chance. So that kind of scares me. The dude doesn't have anything broken. What if I give him a rusted axe in a sec? Like, my character here is pretty risky there. Yeah, unlike many others, you actually follow the rules here, huh? <laughs> but yeah, my day is going pretty well. We're using this class maxing exploit that I discovered in this game, but like to the extreme now. Wait, the dude sucks at swords because I've never had him use a sword before. So what if I purposefully give him a rusted sword and have him go to town with this? And then we wait, and to do here attacks with the rusted sword, he only has a 1% crit chance. Like he'll do quite a bit of damage if he has that connect. So I'll just have to be careful to make sure that Dimitri and to do don't both connect and attack in the same turn. Yeah, like Dimitri does a decent bit of damage there. So I can't, like I can't risk this now. Now I have to wait for that dude to heal a little bit because Dimitri is too much of a powerhouse. My goodness gracious, this is wacky. Okay, now he's restored a bit more HP. So yeah, the dude can for sure attack here. Yeah, Rusted Sword is the way to go. So he's gonna master the Armored Knight here pretty soon. Now, Dimitri. Okay, as long as he doesn't get the 2% crit, everything will be AO good. So, to do here. Oh, he connected, so I don't think I can attack with Dimitri this turn. I don't think so. Like, yeah, let's not take the risk there. Not take the risk of attacking with Dimitri. And we got a level up for the do. Nice. Not good enough. Yeah, not that good of a level up though. But now we can do this. My thanks. He already has 50 health. My oh my. This strategy is insane, man. Can Dimitri attack? Nope. Oh, did you's attack actually connected there? I see, I see. Wow. Can't attack this turn then. That sure sucks, huh? Like, if I start attacking my own unit, my biggest concern is the crit rate. 
That's what I'm worried about. Nice miss, getting the class experience there. Everybody's also gaining so much affinity with each other with this. Bonk. So like, there's gonna be so many support conversations to see. Nice, I like it when there's misses. Nice, nice. Maybe I should give, maybe I should give Dimitri like a rusted bow. He has like the least experience in bows. Yeah, this is gonna be like all the support conversations, isn't it? Like, what if I give Dimitri a rusted bow? Will that make things a bit easier here? Like, what if we take this rusted axe off his hands and we chill here? It's about the same. <laughs> and it connected. My oh my. But yeah, he sometimes misses there, but not all the time. Nope, can't do that. Seems like no matter what weapon I give Dimitri, he'll still be doing a ton of damage. It all makes sense now. Like it just doesn't matter. Yeah, if I ever do like a flaw training only maddening classic route challenge, this is totally the kind of strategy that I do to make everybody as strong as possible. Like Flane and Ingrid here, I don't have to worry about it at all. But Dimitri and the do I sometimes have to be a little bit more careful of. Okay, it didn't connect. Good. Good, good. That's the whole reason I'm using the rusted weapons. Yeah, Dudu just needs a few more encounters. And then he'll be AO good. This is literally the first battle we have ever used Flane in this playthrough. And she's about to max her class out. Man, oh man. Couple more encounters for her to do. Ingrid's totally gonna max her class too. The only ones that I'm not sure if we'll be able to max the classes of are Dimitri and my character. Literally everybody else is gonna have their class maxed by the end of this. Which is ridiculous, having classes maxed for like everybody. My, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. So insane. There we go. Flane's mastered. The very first battle we have ever brought Flane into in this playthrough, and she's already mastered her class. No, I'm not grinding level. I'm not even gaining any experience points anymore for the level. Like, it's staying at 21. I'm, I'm grinding experience for class mastery to give characters unique skills there. Like, I just got the miracle skill with Flane. All right, let's put her off to the side to show that she's done... Okay, Ingrid's gonna be done in five more encounters. The do should be done here in a sec. Yeah, his class is mastered now too. He got armored blow. Worked out well. So he gets extra defense when he initiates combat. Nice, nice. Like my character here is the biggest concern with the 19% crit there. And what weapon do I suck the most at? Wait, can I use magic? And him not have uh, there's still a 90% crit rate. So, I mean... Yeah, that's a little bit concerning. I mean... A little bit concerning there. I don't want to accidentally kill him. Okay, Dudu is now done too. I've now mastered classes for eight of my units here. About to be more. Okay, yeah, this works. How do I lower my crit rate? I'm holding a critical ring. Freaking rusted axe. Oh, uh, it's still 14% though. <laughs> so that's kind of scary. So I want to master these classes first. Maybe I can trade with Ingrid for her broken sword in a sec. Like maybe that'll wind up being worse than the Okay, I actually did gain a level there. So maybe that'll wind up being worse than... than rusted items, I don't know. Oh, he gained experience because he actually connected is why. Because he actually dealt damage. So he gained a little experience. 
Okay, just a couple more encounters there. Okay, I can't attack this time. Wait, is he getting support from me? Pfft. Everywhere is in range of gaining support from me and Ingrid both. Okay, so one more encounter and she's done. Pfft. He's doing so much more damage now. What the heck is up with that? Alright, so now... Boppity boopity. The miss and class is max. And she got vantage. That should do. That should do. Alright, let's see here. So convoy, let's go ahead and put this rusted axe away. And trade with Ingrid here for the broken iron sword. Is what we do real quick. Only 8% chance to hit. The adjutant follow up though. Yeah, if we're on opposite sides like this. If only I had a broken bow. Maybe I should actually keep some broken weapons around like that broken sword. For strangely specific cases like this when it actually comes in really handy. I stole a 14% crit rate. So it's still kind of scary. So I feel like this is going to go until somebody gets a crit. Dimitri has a lot lower of a chance. Okay, Ash got a level up from that. <laughs> nice. I'm starting to see results. Nice, nice. I this is what scares me. Allow me to demonstrate. As I was saying. Well, I mean, look at the sword is missing the tip. Anyway. We must all do our part. It's not that big of a deal. Because look, we mastered classes on every Great single work, character in this entire army, except for my unit and Dimitri, and we made some good progress on both of them as well. Everybody else mastered their classes in this one battle, including Lysathea and Flane, both of which, Lysathea is the first time in that class, and Flane, this is the first time I've ever had a battle with her on this route, and she just mastered her class. I cannot believe this. Thieves everywhere. I can't believe this is what the world is coming to. A world where an idiot grinds for a solid hour here instead of actually being an entertaining streamer. At least we've restored the peace here, even if it's only for a little while. You've defeated all the thieves. Extra large bullion and longbow. So this sells for, it just says extremely high. I assume that's 10K. I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that because I'm gonna need the funds to buy all the seals I'm gonna need now. 67 turns. Oh my goodness. This was wacky. This was absolutely whack. Yeah, it literally was an hour. Professor, thank you for your help. We drove off the thieves and got a reward for my father. Job well done, eh? Yeah, and almost everybody mastered their classes. <sighs> I spoke with my father after the battle. He confirmed that his intention was for me to claim the Lance of Ruin as my own. I see why he thinks that's necessary. Still, using Miklon for that purpose. If he was still alive, I wonder what he'd think of that. You're still thinking about your brother, aren't you? I suppose I am. Miklon hated me from the moment he found out I had a crest and he didn't. He was selfish and egotistical. I know it's not right to say bad things about the dead, but he earned it. Even now, I'm still cleaning up his messes. I have to wonder though, what if it was the other way around? If he had the crest and I didn't, would I be the one my father thought was worth forgetting? Or would my fate have been wholly unlike his? Thinking like that won't get you anywhere. You're probably right, Professor. It's not like me, is it? I don't pray much. But I think I'm going to pray for those who lost their lives to the thieves tonight. And for all of us. I'm afraid there are more days like these coming our way. Why do you say that? Vargas has always been a cold place. Never very well to do. Until about ten years ago, our region was a battlefield for the people of the Sreng region to the north. And after the late king fell, the whole kingdom became unstable. So, it's no real surprise that more and more people are resorting to thievery just to survive. 
And there are those rumors of the current regent being too busy chasing the ladies to bother with governing. Don't worry, I get the irony. The whole damn kingdom is in decline because of nonsense like that. I'm hoping once we get Dimitri on the throne, everything will get better. Anyway, I'll leave it up to you to decide how you want to use our reward. And Professor, if I could, I'd still like to buy you a meal sometime. You have another favor to ask? No, I'm just asking a friend to hang out, that's all. I'm surprised there was no response option like that for what I could choose. Again though, thank you for everything, Professor. I couldn't have done it alone. <laughs> I just don't get- I can't take these characters seriously in these get-ups. You know... Oh yeah, there's this one. Maybe I should save that battle for like, another free day. Because knowing me, I'm gonna use another free day. Yeah, <laughs> you know? We could try one of the DLC ones. Route the bandits who appeared at Lake Two Tates. This is an additional auxiliary bat. Yeah, let's try that actually. We'll do that on another free day this month. Is what we'll do. Because I always do like battling. I typically do like two explorations and two battles. That's usually what I do. So we'll have to do that paralogue too. It's apparently a fishing tournament on the 19th. Looks like if I alternate then the explorations will be on the days when there's not really anything going on. Huh. Well then. So, I guess Ash's class isn't mastered. So the people that we for sure bring are these three. And these three will be the main fighters because everybody else has mastered their classes. <sighs> Who wants to be an adjutant? You're pretty high level, Felix. A lot of people are pretty high level. <laughs> Alright, let's send Dimitri into the fray because I have a whole bunch of classes to master with him. Oh, I need to set two adjutants. Sylvain's higher level, I guess. Um, nah, let's do that. How about... Check the map. All right, so this battle is going to be mostly left up to those three units since they need the experience the most now. Since they're the only ones that don't have classes mastered. Interesting area. Looks like the chests are already open since it's just an auxiliary battle. Oh! Oh, so there's items like these in the DLC ones. There's a bully in there. Nothing there. But there is the one thing there to permanently increase dexterity by one. Huh. So maybe my unit should go up north there to, like, fight the mages and stuff. Ash can go this way and Dimitri can take the center, I guess. So something like this. Something along those lines there. Okay, let's, um, fix this real quick. Don't mind me. I can put that critical ring back on. Oh yeah, there's this stuff that I got. So there's restores HP each turn. Raises might for magical attacks. Ooh. So let, yeah, let's do that for Eliza Thea, for sure. You already have a leather shield. Um. I could always give a shield to like one of my healers here since they don't usually do a lot of attacking. So I have an accuracy ring that increases the hit rate of attacks and a goddess ring to restore HP each turn. I feel like maybe Dimitri might like the goddess ring. Uh, the crest items don't really interest me a ton. Not exactly. I mean, I could give Elizathea another extra crest. Oh, she already has one there. She could get the one that I just dropped from Dimitri there. Sure. Four crests now. She'll have total, I guess. Oh, boy. All right. What was the last one that I had? Accuracy ring. Increases hit rate of attacks. Um, You want it, Ash? There you go. Have fun. Knock yourself out. Um, So anybody who can reclass into something else they already have unlocked that isn't mastered 
Because Liza Thea can do freaking monk. It's kind of pointless. Oh, I can immediately reclass Ingrid because I unlocked the Cavalier once before. Back to the drawing board. Sweet! Thank goodness I unlocked that once before. Yeah, Dimitri's not done. Yeah, so I guess we will be actually training Ingrid this battle as well. Because this class isn't mastered. So she can go up north with me then. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect, man. Let's battle. Let's rout the enemy. Now this is an auxiliary battle, so we can change the music here if we want. Um. Ooh, we could always do blue skies in a battle. Blue skies in a battle it is. Stay focused. Because that music is legendary. So, hold on, what do I need more experience in? Um, reason magic more than faith magic. So let's go ahead and equip fire. Ready. Nice, let's do that. I'll cut through. So yeah, here's our main fighters. Oh yeah, there's the rusted bow. Aw oh, dang, I forgot to give him back his sword. Focus. I'm so sorry, Dimitri. I'm sorry, man. You want a sword back? Here, I'll give you a sword, Dimitri. So you can work on that again. There you go, man. Happy now? Whoops. I guess I'll attack next turn here. Yeah, thank you. Sure, so with this shield, why not? I'll cut through. Yeah, now you can work on your sword again there. <laughs> Rusted sword, great. I'll give it my own. Yeah, let's divvy up the aggro a little bit there. Yeah, let's have my healers follow along still. Come along for the ride. Here goes. On either side. Ready when you are. And sure, send random units like this. That can what gain some I experience, do? but no class experience. Because sure. Ash is insane. I must steal myself. He's absolutely nutty. And that was the last bit of durability That's on that iron axe too. So maybe I'll put the broken iron axe in storage instead of repairing it, because it could be useful for training purposes like that last battle. Free level up. Have I improved some? Indeed. I'm surprised how many times you're gaining speed despite the cavalier class. I must stay focused. That surprises me. Yeah, so I'll focus on my character and Ingrid here. It's an axe experience. No hesitation. My oh my. Crest of flames. Each battle, a chance to grow. You're relentless. So we can also use Kanto here too. Oh, I'm missing the sword there. Can I, do I have a sword right now that I can? There we go. I'll just have to remember to get another one from the convoy. So, wait, no. What do I need to work in here more? Um, Lancet and swords are pretty even right now. Ready. Pretty even, I must say. Thank goodness for Divine Pulse, by the way. Thank goodness for that. Time to stabby stabby. Bonk. I aim for greatness. Our Cavaliers do struggle a little bit on the stairs, but ah oh well. Oh, maybe I should have had a bow equipped or something. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, you need to work on your faith magic more. Yeah, a you. bit more, Lysithea. So Ready let's advance on forward. Move carefully. 
So yeah, let's go there, sure. Rusted gauntlets. Let us away. Let us away. Heal him. Much appreciated. Like that. Heal him all the way because of the crest of Cethleen. A bit disappointing. At least your strength went up. That's one of the things that doesn't often go up. What should I do? Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to remember to change go. up battalions. I keep forgetting that. Thanks. Free healing experience for Mercedes, I guess. I'll cut through. Oh, at first I was like, why can't he reach me? It's because of the stairs. That's why. I was confused there. Alrighty. Oh, but he's attacking. That one dude is attacking Ash with a broken axe. Oops. I forgot to swap it out. Oops. My mistake. Stronger. I can feel it. Whoops. Oops. My mistake. I'm sorry, Ash. I'm sorry about it. Stabby, stabby. And Felix is gaining a level now too. I can feel the difference. Nice. Zero damage. Sotha's shield still helps with that. Though it's gonna start dissipating a bit. Stay focused. All right, yeah, I can move my unit here. What is my axe now at now anyway? It's about the same as sword. Huh. Freaking convoy here. Well, I don't have another iron sword. I could take the sword of the creator, but I mean. Let's just hold on to a training sword for now. This is what we'll do. As expected. And then we can have Ingrid move here and attack. Like this. Nice, nice. Yeah, you stay there. Um, is anyone gonna attack Eliza Thea here? Guess not, sweet. Give her some healing experience. Nice, nice. And meanwhile, over here... Okay, so there are some dudes there. So we can start going that way in a sec. Pew pew. The fight continues. Got a bullion. And Dimitri can always go around this way. You have a ranged weapon? You have the javelin. Sure. Sure, man. Free yeah. healing experience. For free. You're too kind. The full heal. Boopity bop. So these guys are coming towards Ash. My unit is being insane no matter what class she's in. Doesn't matter. Whoops. Oh well. Not the best level up. Not the best one ever. Toss that javelin. Toss it real good. Ouchies. Wait. But if that guy always targets, well, it could be time to do the exploit again. It might be about that time. You know. Just leave that mage alive. All right, we boopity bop. I must stay focused. Nice, nice. I'll give it my all. You're testing out the emote there to see if you can see it. See if you have the extension. Oh. There. Perfect. Perfect, man. There we go. Let's stop there. Welcome back, Pikachu. Ash grew to level 19. Do I have anyone at level 20 yet? To make an advanced class. I don't recall. Who's next? Oh, Dimitri's about to be level 20. He's about to get there. My oh my. I must steal myself. 
Yeah, we can totally do this here. This is totally a thing that we could do. Just chill there. All right, Flane's gonna need to heal. Oi, like that. Much appreciated. Kind of like that there. Now let's see here. Wow. You never had a chance. Wow, man. Well, I guess Dimitri can now become an advanced class if we want him to. I'm getting stronger. I can feel it. An advanced class before even the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. You're at 19, 17, 18. 17, 17, 19, 17, 17. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I was actually gonna heal Ash, but okay, that works too. That works too, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and take him out with Iron Bow. I won that. Yeah, you did. Yeah, we could totally exploit this here. Oh, that one dude's coming down. He's coming down to party. I wonder if I can make a similar situation like I have with Ingrid, but with Dimitri now. Like, will this mage avoid going after Mercedes if she can actually counterattack? It's something strong like Bulganon. That would be pretty great if that would be the case. We can advance Ash down that away. We got a heal here. Get authority up to D. Ah! Rally luck. Okay. Okay. Let's go down towards Ash. Fuck. Like, will he go after Mercedes? Is the question. The answer is no. Ew. We could potentially max out Dimitri's class here. Maybe, maybe. Just an idea. Much appreciated. Hmm. Oh yeah, I can get some. Yeah, I should actually do this then. Be the one that's healing. So I can come closer to maxing out that class. Yes, go after Ash. Because Ash doesn't care. I'm gonna have to deal with that guy though. Ow. This is all fine. If we play our cards right, we can max out all the classes this time. Okay, Didu has to move out of there though. Uh, let's get a quick heal here. Like that. You're too kind. Ash can finish off of this guy. Like that. The fight continues. Yeah, Ash is coming pretty close to mastering his class too. Is this a joke? In the in these two battles, will we have successfully maxed out everybody's class? Maybe I'll save some heals actually. Yeah, maybe, see. maybe. If we play our cards right, we might be able to. Level 20 now. The advanced classes are unlocked. I never made my unit an advanced class in the first playthrough. I was too much of a generalist instead of a specialist. And I feel like that's what's happening here, too. I'm so much of a generalist, I don't even think I can get into an advanced class right now. I don't think it's possible. Ow! I can always freaking canto here. Is what I could do. I do say this. Boopity bop. And then move back. Get a quick heal here. And yeah, this dude's gonna be going after her. So let's do this. Ah! My ears. Yeah, so Flane should get ready to 
swap out with Mercedes to heal over there. She's a lot more useless of healing. Then Mercedes does. Free white magic experience. Up for grabs. Yeah, so this is fine. Nice, nice. Level 18. Have I improved some? Yes, indeed. I'm making my unit so brokenly strong. It's kind of insane. Alright, so now I have to do that for a quick heal. Yeah, he's still going to be going after Ingrid there, so let's get the glowy spot quickly. Before I move back in a second. Oh, this guy can just heal, so he's not even doing anything. Let's get Ash over there. Yeah, he doesn't care about Flane. Probably can't do any damage to Flane is why. Is probably the reason why. Yeah, I wouldn't want to forget about this one last guy here. And then lose the battle once we reach 100 turns because of that. That would really suck. That would be mucho unfortunito. Yeah, if I play all my cards right, I can totally max out all the classes this time. Boopity bop. Yeah, Ash just needs a few more encounters before Archer is maxed out. We got Flame ready to swap in. When she needs to. <laughs> well, that was useless. Those two apparently can never talk to each other. It would seem. Yeah, we're totally gonna max all the classes this time. Definitely, definitely. Bonk. That's how it goes. Like maybe we can get him to go after Ash a couple times. To make sure that Ash masters his class. Maybe after Dimitri's mastered his though. Like how far is Dimitri? Oh, Dimitri's pretty close. Ingrid's pretty close now too. My oh my, everybody in using this one day in the calendar month to battle twice will result in literally everybody in my army mastering their classes. I'm gonna lose so many of my funds on seals now, but it'll be so worth it. You know, we can just do this. Go on either side. This is what we can do. Wow, they can never talk apparently either. Wow, then. Practice yields results. Sweet, we learned recover now. Sweet man. Oh yeah, Dimitri's gaining a little bit of HP each turn. Yeah, let's give some more healing experience to Flame. She needs the regular raw experience more. She needs that more. Yeah, just need a handful more encounters for everybody here. Just barely taking enough damage here to be healed each turn. Nice. Whoops. Whoops. Whoopsie doopsie. Let's go ahead and do that again. Just five more heals. And then that'll be done. Looks like Dimitri didn't take any damage that time. That time he did, though. No, not Gambit. Gonna get that magic to be pretty soon. Oh, man. Ingrid didn't take damage that time. Okay, Dimitri did again. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, man. Wow, it didn't take damage again. My oh my. It's nice that Dimitri... Okay, Dimitri's class is now max. He got Vantage. Which is like one of the best skills there. Wow, Ingrid's about to max her class. So yeah, let's... Heal Dimitri here. Move Dimitri all the way out of the range. And Ash now 
into the range and make sure that he can't counterattack the magic by putting on an axe. Just a bit more here. Yeah, Ash takes a little bit more damage, but that's fine. One more frame grid and then her class will be maxed. Oh dang it, this guy ran out of magic again. How much more does this guy have? Three. Dang, man. Dang, man. My enemies are running out of magic again. I'm pretty sure she just needs the one more. I need a few, though. I could always access the convoy for a broken weapon again and see what I can do about that. Yeah, so Ash only needs the three uses that that guy has left. So that literally worked out perfectly there. Okay, Ingrid just needs the one, though. So let's take the broken iron sword and trade here. Yeah, I'll give her back her lance in a sec. All right, as long as you don't crit. Ah, nice, the miss. Sweet, <laughs> Cavalier's maxed. We got Desperation. Oh, Cavalier does get a good skill after all. For some reason, I thought that they didn't. Desperation is actually a good skill. Here I was earlier in the playthrough being like, oh, I max out Cavalier, but Cavalier doesn't give that good of a skill. Like, I mean, Desperation is better for like slower units like who are armored, but it's still not bad on other units. Yeah, it's pretty noise skill. Party Parrot is also such a good emote there. All right, let's give you back your lance. Now what happens if I attack with the broken iron sword? Is there anything that I can do that won't kill? Dang, man. Please miss. Thank you. Okay, I need four more encounters. Or two more encounters, sorry. I can always target this other mage after he runs out of magic. Is what I can do. Because he's gonna attack Ash there. Ash's class is now mastered. My lessons are complete. That's a pretty nice skill there, actually. So that guy's out of magic now too. It's completely drained. Alright, let's see if we miss. Oh we missed again. Oh, but the adjutant follow up. Oh, I just need the one more battle and then that's it. So we can feel free to take out this guy. So I'll probably do it with Flane. Yeah, so let's access the convoy. Let's put this iron sword away for when I might need it again. Is what I'll do. And then let's attack with... Let's, do, let's do it with fire, actually. Bonk. That is that. There we go. Class mastered. Such power dwells within. Mastered skills for priest and gained I've miracle. This topic. Sweet man, I got the ALL pomegranate. Meanwhile, over here, Flame is my lowest level unit, so. I should probably do this with her. Let's look at her lance experience, too. Sure. Maybe I should have her use magic instead. This guy probably has decent resistance, though. Stop going over there. I can only use Nosferatu to attack. She doesn't have any black magic spells. But yeah, she needs the actual experience points the most. Stop going over there. It's gonna be harder to get her lance experience, so... May as well attack with the training lance here. It's almost out of uses. From that last battle. Over these past two battles, the training lance here is already almost broken. Incredible. Oh, absolutely astounding. So in these two battles, I've mastered every single unit in my army's class. I am maturing at a rapid pace. That's just what I was saying there. Yeah, so after my first playthrough, I can definitely say that I understand this game a lot better now. My oh my. I am spent. Oh boy. Incredible.
Nice one, Ash. Wow. Just wow. We have a lesson coming up. Cool. People are going to have to change their classes up. This will be a good time for me to change the goals for my students. You know, teach them in some different things so that they can become some different classes. Considering I just max their current ones. I am mastering classes left, right, and center. Like, it was one of the things I was struggling the most with in my first playthrough. But now we're doing a left, right, and center because I understand this game now.